So apparently there's a car that's in the creek. A suspicious vehicle parked back in the woods. Well, my name's Matthew Toombs, and um, I started law enforcement in 2014. And uh, went to the academy and then started out at the sheriff's department, Talladega County, which is the next county over. And um, then came here to Oxford in 2017, 2017, been here about six years roughly. And I'm a little bit different, a little more city policing as opposed to the county, which is more, more rural, more country policing in a way. And um, really love it here and they've been good to us and um, just still trying to learn the job and put in my time and just get better every day. So that's about it. I got almost 10 years in. I'll have 10 years in next year, 2024. I'll be 10 years in law enforcement. So still loving it, just still trying to get better and learn as much as I can. It's constantly evolving and changing. So, and you never know what's gonna come day to day. So I love that about the job. And even if you're dealing with the same people, it's probably a different situation, so. So yeah, working in Talladega County, I think really prepped me for this type of policing because, you know, you just, you might have to respond to a domestic or a fight call out in the middle of nowhere by yourself in the middle of the night. And your backup, you know, might be 25 minutes away. And so it really taught me how to talk to people, how to, you know, control suspects and how to really do everything I could to avoid a confrontation or unnecessary fights. And um, I think being a deputy really prepped me for this a little bit because you just don't have backup as close and you got different types of calls and you're on your own a lot more. So the deputies that work in the counties here, um, a lot of them I got a lot of respect for because they, a lot of times they're on their own as opposed to us in the cities and the municipalities. We we have a little more backup on average. You know, we got a, an officer that's gonna be there within a few minutes and help you out if you need it and help you work the call. But a lot of these deputies, especially in these counties that don't have a lot of a lot of deputies or a lot of uh, sheriff's employees because they're just not a big populated county, um, they're, they're on their own a lot. So I think being a deputy really helped out. These two streets were right here. We got one running west, one running east, uh, feeds into our downtown area, which there's people walking, there's kids, there's dogs, there's businesses, and um, the speed limit's only 25 miles per hour. So my big focus when I work this area is trying to keep people accountable, try to slow them down, make some stops and talk to them because to me, if my wife or my kids or me, you know, jogging or playing or enjoying the downtown area, I don't need somebody come blistering up through here at 55 miles an hour right next to the sidewalk. So I like to work this area and just try to, you know, I don't always write tickets, obviously. Sometimes I just talk to people and just make them aware that the speed limit's only 25 going this way and that way. So that's what we're going to kind of do now and just see what, see what happens. So, and this is just a self-test of the machine. It passed and we do, it just does some calibrations and stuff. Well, not, I don't know if that's the right word, but it just, it runs through its checks to make sure it's working properly. So I got to check the rear. There we go. And it's showing that it's working. And I don't, I don't stop everybody doing one and two miles over. You know, I try to be reasonable, but if they start getting 30, 35 and above, you know, I feel like that's, that's too fast through here. So we can't stop everybody, but we'll stop the ones we can and chat and move on. We're gonna stop this one. We got them going. 36, 37 miles an hour, so. 737, 1039. 737, 1039. Chocolaca Street and Whiteside on black Toyota Camry. 1012 on 1028. Final stop be the parking lot of the OPEC, close to Snow Street, be Delta 214, 
two two Juliet. D two one four two two Juliet. Hey, how are you? Ma'am, the, the speed limit's only 25 down through there. And also, I just saw you I saw you go over the white line a few times. So I'm just checking on you. You got your license and insurance on you? Yeah, I'm all right here to the game or take my son to the game. Okay, well, look, we're not. I'm not trying to write a lot of tickets. I'm just trying to talk to some people. So, yeah, it's only 25 on both streets. So I did think it was 35. You're good. You're good. Yeah, I got you going a little fast. But, look. I'm not trying to ride tickets, okay? But I just want to talk to you. Now, what game y'all heading to? Right here, he got a uh, seven and eight grade uh, Oxford Boys Hey, good deal, good deal. I hope y'all do well. Look, I'll try to be quick okay. with it. Do you have your insurance? Yeah, yeah. Okay, just hang tight, okay? I'll be right with you, all right? You're all right. All right. We're gonna check the tag and her license, make sure there's no warrants or anything. You know, it's funny, I walked up there, she said, uh, she said, you going to get me for going 42? <laughs> she thought the speed limit was 35. I said, well, I said, you're still speeding if it was 35, but the speed limit's only 25, man. <laughs> Go for it. All right, we're going to do, we're just going to do a written warning. So what I do, it'll put her on paper and then, you know, let's say she gets called for speeding tomorrow or the next officer that pulls her over. He can see that, okay, she's been stopped for speeding the previous day and, um, you know, she's doing it again. She might need a ticket this time, but um, I'm just going to do a warning and just let her know um, and then give her another shot at it and hopefully she'll slow down and, and that'll be that. So one of the big challenges of doing traffic stops is I'm doing legal official paperwork here that I need to focus on, make sure I got the right info, make sure I got the right charge. But also, there could be a safety issue up in that car. Somebody might not like us, might be mad at what I'm doing, and might be planning to do something that I'm not aware of. But at the same time, I have to do this, so my attention is divided. So that's why when you see some of these traffic stops and people walk up and start videoing or start um, messing with us while I'm dealing with a traffic stop, that's why sometimes you might see officers get kind of frustrated because it's very dangerous, because it divides my attention. And I need to just be focused on this and this. So that's another big challenge that I think the general public sometimes they don't think about. So she's being cool. She's being nice. I don't think it'll be a problem. But still, I don't know her. You know, I just stopped her because she was speeding and I've never met her before. So I don't know if she likes us, hates us. You know, I don't I don't know. So that's a that's a big challenge. So I'm gonna give her this warning and um, she'll be good to go. All right, ma'am. Look, I just did a written warning, okay? I'm not trying to cost y'all money or issue a lot of tickets, but we are trying to get people to slow down. We've been getting a lot of complaints. If you will, just remember up Chocolock and then back down snow, it's only 25 miles an hour, okay? All right, you got any questions or anything? You can throw that away. There's no court, no money. It's just a warning. And then in Oxford, in a city, you generally, it seems like you get more types of calls that are in the moment. They're like, like you show up and it's happening, whereas a lot of county calls you know it might take you 25 minutes to get there because you're so far out from everything and um and so that's a difference too I, it seems like more calls here um are still ongoing as you get there so i've had to learn how to deal with that a little more too and um just learn how to deal with things that are very fluid a lot of these situations in the city are they've changed very quickly and you just have to try to keep your keep thinking and keep planning your next move so it's uh it's very challenging at times so uh, i'm officer jordan um, with oxford police department i've been in oxford police department for uh, almost a year now i've been in law enforcement for uh, almost 23 years now uh, i worked in uh, jacksonville police department for about 15 years and then i was also at lincoln police department for about six and a half um, i've been in patrol been in investigations. Uh, I was uh, a lieutenant at one time in Lincoln. Um, I guess I started law enforcement. I, I knew at a young age that I wanted to do law enforcement because um, my dad was in the FBI in the explosives unit and uh, I wanted to do that. And um, so I started trying to figure out the best way to get into that role. 
And as I did, um, law enforcement became one of the avenues that I would pursue to do that. And so I started doing that and then um, I ended up getting married and having kids and didn't go into um, the FBI or even trying to get an FBI. So I went into, I stayed in law enforcement because I was already in it and pretty much stayed there since then. Okay. Um, we're going to a uh, suspicious vehicle park back in the woods uh, here at Chocolaca Park uh, near the cross country track. They don't know if it's occupied or not. They just want somebody to check it out. So we're going to. 1048. We're going to come in here and see if we can't locate it. How's it going? Good, how you doing? Good. What y'all doing hanging out out here? We're just chilling. It's okay. Calm. <laughs> okay. You got a driver's license with you? I do. You want mine too? Oh, sure. Where's my wallet? Y'all just hanging out? Got nowhere else to go? Yeah. You from Talladega? Well, I live here in Oxford. But oh, do you? Yes, sir. Okay. Caleb, you live in Oxford yes, still. Sir. Okay. All right. Y'all ain't doing nothing you're supposed to, right? You're no, just hanging sir. out? Yeah, okay. Well, somebody called and said there's some car backed up here, and yeah, it's usually kind of unusual, kind of suspicious, so. Yeah. <laughs> Sometimes I come in here to take pictures of my truck if it's clean, but I'm just chilling. Okay. Today. Good deal. Hang on just a second for me, okay? Well, there you go guys like I said y'all just be good yes, sir. and know that if you hang out here they're gonna keep calling yes, sir. somebody's gonna see you and somebody's gonna call all the time so. yes, sir. all right y'all have a good day yes, sir. so we just checked out a, a vehicle with uh, two individuals in it somebody called that was a suspicious vehicle um, made contact with them there's they weren't doing anything illegal, anything wrong that they were supposed to. Uh, the park is open, so there's really no reason to detain them or to do anything further. Uh, they're allowed to be there. The park's open, so that's just check, make sure that they were were uh, weren't doing anything they weren't supposed to be, and then I let them know that um, you know people are gonna keep calling because it's it's a car park to the back of the woods, away from everything else. People are always going to call when they see suspicious vehicles, and so that's pretty much what all that was. Is just they're parked out there hanging out. My name is John Butler. I've been in law enforcement for going on six years, if you count my time in the jail. I've only been at Oxford PD for almost two months now. I come from a smaller agency where I spent five years of my career at. The reason I got into law enforcement is I've always been kind of interested in it. Um, from a little kid, it was just always kind of something that I felt like I might want to do. When I got in it, I actually enjoyed it and kind of felt like it was a calling from from an early age. Uh, I didn't really have much family that was in law enforcement. I had a lot of family that was in the military. Um, yeah, I, I think I made the right choice in what I decided I want to do in my life. So apparently there's a car that's in the creek. Let's see what. Person down line advised up to double 1023 previously to 39. They want them to be left 26. Trying to get an extended location. Is she stuck? I'm going to get her out of the air because it's time I got her. And he is a hard person. Oh, the window. Don't let her get out. I'm going to get the heat. Maybe she's sort of. What in the
Horton. She ain't injured, is she? I don't, I don't think so. Seven forty nine. You twenty five medics. There's negative injuries. Seven forty nine. Ten twenty eight. Alabama. One three. Alpha one. Nine zero. Bravo. Ten four one three Alpha one nine zero Bravo. I told him to cancel me. How she? So how she end up down there? Right, well, all we got was a call that some car is in the creek, okay? So that's why we get this kind of response, all right? I was thinking, what in the world? I'm looking around going, what happened? What okay. happened? I was on the phone with the interview for an interview. Okay, how are you going to get out? I'm on pull forward. Can't, are, 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 you're not stuck or anything? No. Okay. No, I mean, I made sure it was solid. I mean, I sat there for a minute and then I realized it's, you know, it's pretty solid ground. I thought, well, I'll just hook him up where I can throw my feet out and get them cool. Okay. And we can, we tied him up to this at first and then I was like, well, that's too deep, that's too, too much. And then so I put him on the door where he can get out and get back in, so. Well, it's your car, but if I was you, I would probably get well, it. Well, now when it started somewhere. raining, I said, well, shit, I'm in a pickle mound. That's what I'm saying. I was trying to get out before the right. But I know you've seen it when it's over that bridge down no. there before. So. <laughs> now, my mom and them live up this way. So, I mean, I don't live up this way. Yeah, I just come up. You may want to go ahead and see if you can get the car out, okay? Okay. That is, they, I mean, we've literally been here all day. <laughs> like, all day, all day. No wreck or nothing like here, that. I, She's got. She pulled down there herself. You're, you're saving just a few steps. Like, just park where everybody else is parking. I mean, there's a whole paved parking lot right up there. <laughs> is she gonna drive in the water? Alright, <laughs> so see a lot of weird stuff doing this job, but that's gotta be it's got to be one of the top ones is somebody parking in a creek when there's a perfectly paved parking lot right here just to save themselves maybe 10 yards of walking. 